Sounds like someone's done with studying. Come here. Hang out with me for a while and relax. <laughs> wow. All that studying really wore you out, huh? <laughs> well, if it helps, it's gonna pay off in the long run. It may be exhausting and frustrating and a pain in the ass for now, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> I mean, I promise, but only as long as spoken contracts aren't legally binding in a court of law. <laughs> Aw, come on. You know I'm just joking. You're working really hard and it's gonna all pay off someday. And then you'll be able to get a good job and... Buy me a nice big mansion for being such a cool roommate. <laughs> Alright, all jokes aside, someday you're gonna be happy you worked hard as you are right now. Even if it's frustrating. But for tonight, you're done dealing with all that, so you don't have to look at it again. Just put it all out of your head and watch this movie with me. Honestly, I don't know. I just kind of turned it on and then started playing games on my phone because I have no attention span whatsoever. Hey, don't blame me. You know how I get after studying, my brain just doesn't want to work anymore, so I reward it with entertainment from the silly little glowy screens. You do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just watch this movie with me. Or just sit with me and pretend to watch it. Whatever you want to do. Sure, do whatever you gotta do, but you better come back here to hang out with me. Don't need you trying to do any more studying tonight, you workaholic. Hey, while you're up, would you mind grabbing me the ice cream from out of the freezer? I grabbed you some too, if you want it. Yeah, no problem. I thought you might want something sweet to reward yourself with. Toss them over here, would you? Is that a blanket? Are you cold? Oh, yeah. Your desk is in that absolutely freezing corner of the room, isn't it? No wonder you always look so miserable after finishing your homework. <laughs> you know, if you'd have just told me that you were cold, I'd have given you my hoodie. You didn't have to go back and grab your blanket. Planning to fall asleep out here then? I'm not judging, I promise. I was actually gonna do the same thing if you don't mind the company. Oh, true. The couch is pretty small. We can always cuddle if you want. That'd probably help you warm up too. No, I'd be fine with it. I mean, we've cuddled a few times, so I don't think it's too weird. Yeah, sure. Move a bit closer. You can lay your head on my shoulder. <laughs> 
Oh my god, even your face feels cold. You're just a little icicle. <laughs> At this point, you're gonna freeze if you try to eat any of that ice cream. <laughs> then pull that blanket up here and wrap it around us. Let's get you all warmed up. <laughs> There we go. Isn't that better? <laughs> now let's eat some ice cream and watch this movie. Hey, you're shaking. Are you sure you're not still cold? You know. If you want to borrow my hoodie, that offer is still on the table. Oh, come on. You know I wouldn't mind. I think we've both accidentally switched hoodies more often times than we can count, and it's never bothered me. If you want to borrow my hoodie, I am totally fine with it. <laughs> yes. I promise. It's all good. <sighs> yeah. Here. Let me take it off real quick. You mind sitting up just for a second? Perfect. Thank you. <sighs> Alright. How's that? Feeling any warmer? <laughs> good. I'm glad. I hate for you to miss out on your ice cream just because you were too cold to handle it. That would have left me to finish it all, and though that would be a perilous task, I would have gladly endured it for you, my chilly little icicle friend. <laughs> me? Selfish? Nonsense. I would be doing you a favor by getting rid of some of the coldness from you. If anything, it would be a burden to eat that much ice cream. <laughs> yeah, well, you look like you're gonna fall asleep face first in your ice cream anyway. Why don't you just give it to me so you don't have to worry about that? Come on, just give me your ice cream. You know you want to. <laughs> uh, fine, keep your ice cream. I guess I'll just have to settle for eating my own and watching this movie. Uh, uh, oh. And it's already over. I guess we missed the entire thing. <laughs> Here, pass me the remote. We'll turn on something else that we actually want to watch. Up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Alright, sounds good. Let me just turn it on. There we go. Now, why don't we just... Oh my god. Are you actually asleep? You still have your spoon in your mouth. <laughs> hey. Hey. Sleepyhead? Wake up for me. Hey. You awake now? <laughs> you really fell asleep. I told you you look tired. I'm not making fun of you. Not right now, anyway. I'm just saying that if you're tired, you should go to bed. No point forcing yourself to stay awake just for my sake. Well, we can spend more time together tomorrow, okay? 
for now, just get some sleep, alright? No, it's fine. You can still sleep out here. Let's just move around a bit so it'll be more comfortable. First, though, let me go put the ice cream back. <laughs> we don't need that melting all over the place while we sleep. <laughs> no need to complain. I'll be right back. I promise. Then you can go back to using me as a big snuggly pillow. <laughs> Just be patient. I'll be back in less than a minute. Alright? Are you already drifting off again? God, you really wore yourself out with all that studying. Okay, so how do you want to do this? What's gonna be the most comfortable for you? <laughs> Too tired to think, huh? Well, let's try this. I'm gonna put a pillow over this end of the couch and sit over here, so why don't you sit between my legs and lean back against my chest? That way, you can use me as a pillow and we'll both be comfortable. I think it'll be comfortable and honestly, it might be the only way we'll both be able to fit on this couch. <laughs> yeah, I won't be laying down exactly, but I don't mind. I don't plan on sleeping too much anyways. I'm not tired yet, so I'm just gonna watch TV for a bit. <laughs> then, come here. And bring the blanket too, it's getting kinda cold. See, comfortable, right? Yeah, I've been told I'm very comfy. Some might say I'm the comfiest pillow that they have ever had. Ah, is someone jealous? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm your pillow first and foremost. <laughs> Come on, you know you love my jokes. That's why you lived with me this long. <laughs> well, that and my incredible cuddle abilities. And the fact that I buy you food and my amazing puns and my insanely good looks and my smoking hot body, and god, I just really am the full package, aren't I? <laughs> Absolutely wifey material. <laughs> hey, you know I am. I'm like a 10 out of 10. Marriage material for sure. <laughs> You're so mean to me, and here I am being so incredibly nice and cute and letting you sleep on me. So, so rude. Well, at least admit that I'm a good cuddler. You gotta give me that. <laughs> I'll count that as a win. Now hurry up and go to bed because apparently you get super snarky when you're tired. Oh, right. How could I forget? You're always snarky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just shut up and go to bed. <laughs> hey, rude. Go to bed before I decide that I don't want to cuddle with you anymore. <sighs> Look at that. You're yawning. 
all that sass must be making you even more tired. <laughs> you're just lucky you're cute when you yawn. Huh? I didn't say anything. Besides that, you need to sleep, that is. Shh, just go to bed, you grumpy little icicle. You need to rest up. Nope, come on. Just lay your head on my shoulder so you can drift off into dreamland. See? That's better, isn't it? So comfy. <laughs> Are you alright if I wrap my arms around you? That way you don't fall off the couch while you sleep. <laughs> Sweet. Now just lift your arms a bit. There. Now this is perfect. Are you comfortable? <laughs> You're kind of mumbling. Was that a yes? <laughs> I guess. I'll take that as a yes. Since you're just snuggling into my neck at this point. <laughs> what? Too tired to respond? I guess being sassy really did wear you out. Hmm. <laughs> Sleep well, sleepyhead. <laughs> hey, are you asleep yet? Damn, you really were tired, huh? I'm kinda sad, you know? I really want to hang out with you tonight. But then again, this is pretty nice too. Cuddling with you is something I'll never get tired of. Especially when you're all relaxed like this. Just leaning into me and letting me hold you close. Feeling how warm and relaxed you are against me. Feeling your chest rise and fall as your breathing evens out. I can't tell you how happy it makes me. You know, I thought you would have figured out that I have a huge crush on you by now. I'm not exactly the best at hiding my feelings. And I know I have a tendency to be kind of flirty with you. I thought it was inevitable that you'd put two and two together and that you'd realize that I'm a bit head over heels for you. Kinda happened since we first started rooming together, really. Just hanging out with you always makes my day. I love talking to you and I love being your friend, I really do. Still, I want to be more of you, you know? Do all that romantic stuff and make you feel loved and happy and... I don't know, I just want you to feel everything good. Especially when you think about me. That might be kind of selfish, but I mean... That's kind of part of having a crush, right? The jealousy when you call someone else cute, always trying to get your attention, trying everything I can to get you to like me more, all that stuff. Like, there are selfless parts of it too, but I guess I just feel like it's selfish, I guess. Because I don't want to distract you from your work and your school stuff. And even if you do want to date someone, I don't want to make you feel awkward that I, your roommate, 
want to date you. I don't want to make you feel guilty or anything. And I feel like, well, you're so sweet and such a good friend that if I didn't tell you that I had a crush on you, you'd feel weird about it because you wouldn't want to hurt my feelings. Because that would be selfish of me, wouldn't it? Making you deal with my feelings. Uh, but, on the other hand, there are times that I feel like you might have feelings for me too. I don't know, it just seems like you look at me a lot sometimes and you do a ton of the same stuff I do for you too. Getting me snacks, lending me your jacket, watching my favorite shows even when you hate them. Sometimes you even kind of flirt with me too. It just all feels like stuff you wouldn't really do for just a normal friend. I mean, I think I'm right. Right? I don't even know anymore. Why is this all so hard? One second, I think I know what we are and what our relationship is and the next, I have no idea. I just wished, wished I knew how to ask you about it without making it weird between us. I'm just too scared of losing you. Maybe someday I'll finally find the nerve to tell you. Or if I'm lucky, you might tell me. I can dream. Right? I guess for now, I'll, I'll just enjoy this, whatever we have. Because, t honestly, I could spend the rest of my life like this and still be happy. So long as I have you, I'd be happy. It'd just be nice if I were able to kiss you too. It'd be really, really nice. But at least for now, I get to hold you like this. I get to have you this close to me, sleeping against me. I can feel your heart beat against my chest. And that alone is one of the greatest gifts I could ever ask for. Right now, it's perfect. Whatever we have is perfect.